Urban Digs, and this is your January 2020. We're in a new decade. I cannot believe it. Um, Manhattan Market Report. Uh, I'm going to use the Urban Digs chart room for those of you guys that follow me and try to decipher um, what is going on here right now to start the new decade and start the new year. I know everyone's confused and trying to figure it all out. 2019 really was a policy-driven reset for the Manhattan markets, but let's start out January 2020 and let's see what's going on. Uh, we got supply up 3%. We got pending sales up 7.7%. Most of that is resale. I'll show you a little later. So the market pulse, that leverage, that barometer of the market that's telling me whether or not the real-time forces are going towards the buyers or sellers, um, that's starting to rise a little bit. Um, I expect that to fall because what happens is right around the holidays in December, everyone takes their listings off the market. And then right when we get back in the new year, the first two or three weeks in January, those listings come right back on the market. So you probably have 1,200 units. Um, look at supply at 5946. You probably got 1,200 units of inventory that came off the market and probably will have a freshen up and come back on the market and be like new price or whatever. So if you're a buyer out there, um, keep an eye out for those um, because maybe the seller is ready to go this time. Um, that's number one. Let's keep going on down here. Days on market down, down 1.1%. I mean, green shoot. Can anyone say something like look, look at the positive for once here? Um, and when I look at days on market, let's go take a look at this chart over here of days on market. Um, we're stabilizing. All right. I mean, the, the worst of it was last year, you know. So the problem with, with getting too ahead of ourselves right now is you got to look year over year, right? So this hump right now in April, um, we don't know how far up that's going to go this year, right? So days on market naturally will start to rise in February, March, and April. Here, I'll show it to you right over here, right? It'll start to rise around February and it's going to continue to rise until about March or so. All right. So if you want to take a look and see how we're doing really versus last year, um, we got to see how, how far we get to that 110 level um, over there and see what's going on at 110 level. Do we meet, do we pass it? Do we meet it? Do we stay under it? I don't know, but that's a key level to keep an eye on. I happen to think that days on market peaked um, in terms of the, the, the um, full leverage for buyers. I think that in mid 2019, it got a little um, scary for, for, for buyers out there. And that was really some good deals out there. Um, the market has been picking up a little bit in the last few months. So if you're a seller out there or you're a buyer out there, you might have realized that things starting to get a little more traffic and a little more demand and things that were good in your subsector of the market that you were focusing on may have went into contract. Um, I want to look at pending sales really quick. Once again, I want to kind of break this down um, because you got to understand where we are um, versus where we've been, right? And I got this little tool here. So here's the peak in 2013, right over here, right? Look at that. Here's 2014, right up here, a little lower. And here's 2015, right? This is the golden years of Manhattan real estate. And since then, we kind of slowly have been going down, 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 down. Here we are right now. So I'm going to change the color here um, so I can show you where we are right now. And if you look at where we are, like here's pending sales. This is pending sales. This is your measure of demand. Right. So here's 2016. Here's 2017. Here's 2018. And here's 2019. And it's kind of going lower, lower and lower. Um, but I also want to look at the bottoms. Take a look at these bottoms right over here. Right. And when I look at the bottom over here, I'm going to erase this so you guys can see what's going on. When I look at the bottom right here in 2018, we did not breach that bottom in 2019. We kind of stabilized before that and we're kind of increasing a little bit right now. So it's going to be really interesting to see what happens um, going forward in this year. But this is the first kind of positive sign that I'm seeing out there um, is pending sales, is 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 the, the, the rate of demand is starting to increase a little bit. All right. Prices, look, price per square foot, you're down 4% year over year. Median sale price, you're down 2.6%. We are now past that whole mansion tax mid-year 2019 policy change that kind of messed up the numbers. We saw a big bump and then we saw a big fall and now we're kind of equalizing a little bit and people got confused because we saw some 20% year over year gains and then 20% year over year declines. That was the mansion tax policy change playing with your with your head. So where are we right now? I mean, we're down three, four percent. That's where we are. The markets are down three, four percent, right? Nothing crazy is popping. The market's not going away from you, but this market is also not 
crashing. The hit already happened. Anyone that's a player in Manhattan real estate knows that this market has been declining for the last four or five years since 2015. And my last piece on pending sales hopefully show that to you. Um, going forward, monthly contract activity up 15%. That, that's a positive sign. That looks good. Um, median listing discount 5.7%. So buyers out there, sellers are going down just under 6% to get deals done. So sellers, you got to be negotiable. No one's telling you that this market is starting a huge trend. We need to see a lot of months with good positive numbers out there, but this is a decent sign to start the new year after what has been a um, prolonged four to five year prolonged progressive um, decline in this market. And um, I wouldn't be surprised if we have a little rebound this year. Um, not saying things are going to go crazy, but a rebound is not out of the works. All right. This is your January market update. This is Noah Rosenblatt from Urban Digs. I'll continue these updates every month. We'll catch you next time.